Hi, welcome to Nutrilife. Now, Nutrilife is a part of our business where we talk about healthy life. We talk about putting nutrients into your body. We talk about creating beauty from inside that eventually gives you beauty on the outside. So today is quite an exciting day. We've got something really amazing and unique to share with you. Something we found out. And we, as usual, want to share anything we know with you. Um, I have a bit of a cold, so my, sound, my voice might sound not too great, but bear with me. My name is Joy Fido, and welcome on board. Okay, so what inspired this particular video? Um, last time we did a video on a 14-day plan. 14-day plan being I wanted to see how I could clear my system a little bit so that I can detoxify myself um, with lots of liquid in my body. And so I went on this plan, which we did a video, and I showed that I was going to be drinking a lot of water in this plan. Um, what does water do? Water cleanses our body. Water hydrates our body. What water takes out the toxins. Water purifies us from inside. And so what tends to happen is lots of us forget the value of water. And what we tend to do, we would rather spend so much money buying the spirits, buying the beers, buying the soft drinks, the sugary drinks. So we buy all these things and we drink so much of them. The sodas, the Coca-Colas, the Pepsis, you just name it. And when we drink all these things, what it, what it actually do to our body is bring in a lot of toxins. So when I took on this plan of cleansing my body, so I started drinking water. And interestingly enough, I'd read somewhere, I think I'd seen another video where people were talking about the pH of water. Again, remember I'm doing nutrition and so I know the value of water. But I never really made it my business to start checking what the pH of each water we're buying is. So we're looking at the pH of water and we decided to do a little research of our own to find out what this means. So pH means potential of hydrogen. So potential of hydrogen in water specifies the acidity in a liquid solution. And so water itself is neutral. That will be when we have good water. So pH scale starts from one, actually zero to 14. And water is at the pH level of seven. And so anything below 7 is gradually becoming acidic, so 7 to 0. And from 7 and over is becoming more alkaline. So the more hydro hydrogen, the acidic, the solution, and the more hydroxyl, the more alkaline. So let's not get too technical here. The most important thing for us is we're just saying that pure water is 7. And so this became something for us to try and find out the various types of water that we've been buying and drinking and what's in them. But of course, when you start being curious about these other drinks that we talked about, the sodas and the, um, the beers and the teas and the coffees, you start finding out that each of these things contain various pH levels. And so your curiosity should start making you think, what type? of liquid are you putting into your body? Because remember, I think the human body, what's the human body again? The, any water over seven is alkaline. The message is to aim for water that's over seven pH. Yes, so if we're looking at water that's over seven pH, we're fine. But I think the human body, the human body is seven, right? I'm not so sure. 
Well, so this is the most important thing for us. What is our pH level, the, the pH of our blood? Now, what are we putting into our body that works with our blood? So, anything over seven is not helping our body. That's the big message. And anything under seven, I mean, anything under seven is not helping our body. Things over seven are healthy for us. So now, the big message here is, from today when you watch this video, be curious. Every bottle of water you're buying out there, start looking at it and find out what the pH level of this water is and see if you're putting the healthy water into your body or you're putting acidic type of water into your body. But of course, remember, we're talking about liquids. So everything you've been drinking, be curious now and start checking to see what the pH level of that liquid is that's coming into your body. Okay, so remember the video I talked about and the whole idea was let's put as much water into our body as possible so it starts to cleanse our system, cleanse our, our body and cleanse the blood and detoxify us. So I went on a challenge and what I've been doing, I've been drinking between four liters to six liters. And then I think I over cleansed my body and somehow I started having a bit of a cold. But um, for the past two days, I've come down to slowly about three liters. So what will happen is you, you watch your body and see how it goes. Um, because for as long as you're drinking water, you are, you are not doing anything harmful to your body. What I noticed is my skin became a lot, lot clearer. Of course, you, you pee it out as often as possible. That's the negative, where you have to be waking up in the night if you tend to drink towards night and you can't sleep because you have to go and clear your system. Um, but the positive is it really, really cleanses you. Your, your head becomes really clear. Like anything coming in, you absorb it. So you've actually fed your brain. That's, what, that's the beauty of putting water into your body. And when you watch, you, you know, when you go and pay it out, you look at the urine you've done, you see the, what, the, the, the color becomes really clear. It's no longer, sometimes it's yellowish and brownish and all types of colors. All the things you're putting in is what's coming out in a very bad form. So the more water you put in, the clearer the color of what comes out of you becomes. That tells you your skin, your body is getting clearer. And then of course the beauty is again, your skin becomes clearer as well. So that's why we said beauty from inside out. So what we're gonna do today is something really exciting. We wanna check the pH of the various types of water that we bought here. Uh, if you're local here in the UK, you'll find these bottles of water in the shops. And then you can make your decision what you wanna go for. Okay, so here we've got nine bottles of different types of water, different brands of water, which we've read what the label says and we know what their pH are, which we're going to tell you. Um, but what we've decided to do, because we found out as well that all the different brands have different ingredients on it. Not ingredients, but mineral contents. So based on that, the taste of the water varies as well. So in that mode, we decided that we're going to bring some models in to come and test this water for us and tell us what they think of them. I know my personal favorite, which I'll tell you as we get into the end of this video, but here come some models to taste this water and tell us what they think about them. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got water in all the cups on the table, and these are nine different brands of water. So our models, we've got three models that are coming to test this water and they will score the water based on the taste, what they think of it. And then once that's done, they will tell you what the final, what we all think of the various waters. Then I'll show you each of the waters so you then see them and then we'll talk about the pH of each of them. So our first model is Garen. Hi Garen. It's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Garen. Okay, let's deal with this one. All right, so you start from drinking this one, and then that's number one, and you score it. Okay. Yeah, so drink that. All right. You don't have to drink all, just yeah. taste it. Oh, 
number three. So what we're doing now is Garen just testing the various water and scoring it according to what he thinks about them. Number four. Yeah. So what we do is when this is done, we we'll check for the pH of each of these. Number five. Six. Yeah. By the time you finish with this, you won't be needing what I get. Seven. Eight. Okay, so we're finished with Garen's test and he's given us his score. So, number one uh, and number seven got your highest score. Yeah. Any particular reason? Why did you like them? Mostly because it was like the least, like, it was very, it was very like, I don't know how to put this, it was very clear. I don't like, clear, clear, fresh? Yeah, it didn't taste like acidic or anything. Okay. Now, we'll be wondering how do you know what acid tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it, it tasted fresh. Yeah. Yeah, and it, was it easy for you to drink it? Okay. Yeah. And then number three, you gave it the least score. Any particular reason? Because it was the most acidic. It tasted like very, like, it made, it made me like, you struggle to, yeah. to, to, to drink it. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much, Garen. You've done an amazing work. We're going to get our next model come and taste this water. Okay, so this is our second model, young Mega. Hi, Hi gorgeous. Hi. So Mega's here to do exactly what Garen did, and we're going to score this water and see what she thinks. So let's start with number one. Right. Taste it. Write your score. Number two. Number three. Number four. Nine. So I thought this is probably the drinking water again. <laughs> So Meg, <clears throat> this is really exciting. I've seen your results there. Um, number one has your highest mark. Any particular reason? What did it taste like? like to you? 
Guy said it too. It just tastes like fresh. It just tastes like not really bitter. Cause yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Did it taste clean? Yeah. Like, I was just about to say like rain, but you obviously have never drank rain water. I have grown up in Africa. Anyway, number three got your lowest mark. Any reason? It was really, really bitter. Like it just tastes like chemicals. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So a bit like maybe a little. I won't, I won't say hard water because I read somewhere too where um, hard water is probably even healthier, but. You know, when it comes to things to do with health, there's so much. Everybody brings their own idea and want to force it on everyone. But yeah, you didn't like the taste. It tasted a bit difficult to, to swallow mm -hmm. and drink. Okay. So thank you so much, Mega. And let's get on with the next model. Comes our third model, Zina. Hey. <laughs> now, Zina, <clears throat> Zina in the family is one who really knows water water when it comes to the taste she can just tell if they lie to her and give her tap water in a bottle she'll say what is this <laughs> so she's very good at picking out the taste of water and the water that tastes better than the other so we're gonna hear what she thinks of our range of water that we've got today so number one I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, oh, 10. Yes. Number two. I'm coughing so loud. Oh, 10. <laughs> Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Hmm. Number nine. So Zina's completed, and we have her marks and her results. So Zina, number four had your highest mark. Right. What was it? So about? number four was really clear, but it tasted a lot like chlorine. Okay. So I was a bit like, I'm not sure, but it tasted, uh, it tasted nice. I feel like I'd get used to the taste. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And number nine was your worst one. You gave it number one. That was straight swimming pool water. It was so like. I mean, even though number four had chlorine, this one was like just chemicals. I didn't like that. No. Really? Taste wise, that's that's what you definitely think of. Yeah, yeah. Good. So thank you so much, Zina. We appreciate all your um how do I say it? ratings. It's for the amazing wilder. for the for someone who's really good at she's yeah, so good at I water. only drink bottle water. She only drinks well. bottle water, she doesn't drink any other water. No. So her opinion, taste-wise, will really it's matter. It's most here. important. Taste-wise, that's what we're looking of at. Of everybody's opinion. For now, it's taste. We'll <laughs> see what the pH says of all this water. We'll see what the <clears throat> other ingredients in this water are, like the minerals, because they all contain various minerals. And then we'll see the content of each of these minerals in each of this water. Next model. Okay, so we're lucky we got a fourth model. Remember, we had three models. Efe was out, she just came in and wanted to join the phone. So here she is coming to taste the 
water for us. So if I, yes, number one. So you drink it and you just write a score out of ten when you think of it, well, taste wise. Okay. You just write it in that place, number one. Okay. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number seven. Okay, so thank you so much. You've seen your results. Good results. Now we notice number nine got nine and number two got nine as well. So any particular reason why you like those ones? Um those was like it was like clear and this is better. Okay. It was very clear. Yeah. Yeah. So that it was easy sense. for you to yeah. drink. Okay. And then we noticed that number six got your lowest score, which is five. Any reason? Tastes a bitter than, mm, taste. than the other than okay. others compared to the others. a bit of bitter taste. Yeah. Wow. Well done. Thank you so much. It's cool. Yes. So <laughs> now we're going to reveal all this water. And now you tell us. Now you look at it, you go, oh, wow. I didn't know it was that one. But then, yeah, we're going to do that now. Okay. Thank you. Right then. <laughs> okay. So we've looked at everything. And number one was the favorite with everyone giving it the highest score. And number six, Volvic was the least favorite. Remember, we're talking taste. So, least favorite Volvic, Shapley Springs, number one, is the favorite with everybody giving it top marks. Remember, we're talking taste. Now, I'm going to take you into looking at each of the contents of this water and what their pH is. Remember, we were talking about pH, the number of hydrogen in that water. Okay, so first of all, number one, Shapley Springs, the pH is 7.3. Remember, we're talking about if the water is 7 and over, it is good for you. 7.3 is Shapley Springs. Now, we talked about the other things they put in the water, the other minerals that help us have healthier quality from these waters. Calcium is number one on that list. It had 63. Magnesium, it had 19. Potassium, it had 3. Sodium, it had 72. Bicarbonate, it had 2.83. Chloride, 9.1. And then sulfate is 32. So, these various minerals that are in this water are things that you can at your own space, uh, at your own time, go and research on them. We did a little bit of research on them, just to give you a top up on what we're talking about. Okay, so remember, just like the food you buy, the packaged foods and all the ingredients you see on the label, that's the same thing they've done with water. So when you buy any water now, Pick it up and look at the mineral analysis. It tells you what they put in this water. And it's based on what they put in this water that you get that taste, which is why we had our models tasting the water. 
that's what determines if it tastes bitter, if it tastes fresh, if it tastes clean, if it's easy to swallow, or if it's not. pH is one thing which is where we want it to be healthy. But taste varies based on what the mineral analysis will be. And that's what I just mentioned about this very first one. So look at the bottle and take your time to read what's in there. Now some of the things you could be really picking out, one of the really ridiculous one that you don't want to see being a high number is sodium. Because sodium is salt and we have salt in all our food. So your body doesn't need too much salt. So if you look at the water and the sodium content is high, you really don't want that one. Although the pH might be good. So sometimes consider what the mineral analysis is and then you look at the pH of that water. So now we, I did say I'll, I'll quickly give you a heads on on what the mineral content will be talking about. So calcium builds the bones and keeps them healthy. It also helps to send uh, messages and bones contrast. Someone wrote this for me, my young son. <laughs> so magnesium is nutrients that help the body. Um, it's important for regular muscle and nerve function. So these are the things you're looking at for. What does this do for my body? Uh, potassium aids nerve conduction and muscle contraction. Sodium mineral required for um, maintaining blood pressure. Uh, bicarbonate keeps pH of blood from being too acidic or basic. Um, chloride helps maintain proper blood volume, blood pressure, and pH of bodily fluids. And then the last one was sulfates, which was a bit difficult to find. The sulfates are needed in the body. Sulfate is the eighth most common element in your body by mass. But there, there's no RDA for sulfur. Your body doesn't make sulfates. So from sulfur, um, <coughs> you get sulfates from sulfur injection. And sulfur contains mine uh, containing minerals are found in most rocks. And that's why most of these waters, you hear that they're coming from the rock um, all around the world. So rainwater is a good source of sulfur. And sulfur is found in many of the foods that we eat. Example, eggs, fish, poultry, and legumes. It is good for the nails and the hair and the skin. So all these minerals are in these waters, but in varied contents. So that's why when you buy the bottle and buy the water, you look at the mineral analysis, you see what they're saying, you consider what will this mineral do for my body. That's your homework. Try and find out what each of them do for you, but I've just given you a brief outline. And that will help you understand which water you really want to go for. But the first things we are looking at is the pH of that water. And we've said number one is 7.3. So number two, which was, was this one? Um, this is a particular brand here in the UK from the shop, a shop called Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's water contain 7.4 pH. And then this number three is Ashbeck. Ashbeck contained 6.2. So pH-wise, Ashbeck is the least of them all. It's at the bottom, is below seven. So again, when you're buying this, you have to be considerate of the pH of it. Number four on our list, um, number four, where is that number four? Oh yeah, number four. We don't have that. Number four is seven point four. That's boxed in. Number five is Nestle, and Nestle is seven point eight. So this is looking quite good at the moment. That's number five. Number six is Volvic, and the pH is seven point zero. Remember, taste-wise, this was the least favorite. While number one was the favorite for everyone. Um, number seven is Saskia and that's 7.8. Number nine 
Oh, sorry, number number eight. That was seven I just finished. Number eight is Highland Springs, which is 7.8. And then number nine is Evian, 7.2. So this is the only one with six point, what was it again? 6.2, I think, Ashbeck, 6.2, yes. So now you can see that the pH of all these waters are varied. Let's see which one has the highest pH from our list. Um, 7.8, 7.8. Okay, these two are together. Nestle and... Nestle and... Ooh. Nestle and Saskia. Saskia. 7.8. At least I know this for sure. I can't see what else is on my list here. Yes. Nestle and this have 7.8. Those are the two highest in this list. Now the next thing you're going to be thinking about when you start shopping for your water is the price. You'll be surprised that some of this water that's got really high pH and very good mineral content are extremely cheap. Extremely cheap. Now, there's one water that I did not bother buying because of the price. It was really expensive. But in this list of pH, it turned out to be extremely acidic compared to the rest. And that's Voss water. If you've ever bought Voss water, there it is. It's supposed to be like the highest quality water price-wise. People pay so much money for this water. But the pH is 6. Now that's really close. And they didn't even bother. They didn't bother giving us any mineral analysis. So if you're spending too much money on water and you're not considering what that water contains, you're just throwing away your money. But then for our American audience, we had to do a little bit of research because remember, we are not based there, so we don't know what you have there. We found out that aqua... Pana. Aquapana has 8.5 pH, which is extremely good compared to all the ones we have here. And then after Aquapana, we had Aquafina, we had Dasani, and then of course there was Voss again, and all these other waters have pH between 3 and 4. So now that's ridiculous. Because why would anyone want to drink water that has pH 3 or pH 4? Again, when I did my research, I found out too that some tap waters are really good. <coughs> but we found that out mostly for the states as well, the US. And I think St. Louis, St. Louis was the state that had very good pH from their tap water. So you need to do your research and find out what that is. So we've done our bit here. As usual, we want you to stay healthy and we want you to watch out for what you put into your body. But of course, apart from the ones here, which I've mentioned, I had bought loads. I've just been doing research on it. So we bought loads and loads of water and I just kept keeping the bottle so that we can pick out the pH. And we wrote some of them out they may not be on the table, but I just want to let you know. So in case you're curious and you and you find that one nearest to you. There's one called Greg's Mineral Water, and that was 7.6. So there's another one called Carrick Glen Water, 7.8. Celtic Spring, 7.96. So that was a really good one. Um, we talked about the Sainsbury's Water, which was 7.4. Harrogate water, which is 7, Ice Valley was 7.5, Eland water, 7.96, Elm Spring, 7, and that was it. So that was a long list of our research, of course, apart from the ones on the table. So our advice is take your time, check every water you're buying. Um, you also hear people telling you, why are you wasting your money buying water when there's tap water? But of course, again, we don't know what the content of that tap water is. 
because um, lots of people, lots of councils tend to put lots of chlorine in their water, lots of chemical in their water. Again, maybe to keep, kill bacteria, maybe to do all kinds of things. So it's so important that we put the right water into our body. And you only know it's really good water when it's coming from the rocks. You know, they call them spring water, it's coming from the rocks and all of that. So the pH is a very good point to start with before you start looking at the mineral analysis and trying to be sure that you're putting the right thing into your system. Anyway, <coughs> thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, remember to uh, share with your friends, remember to like it if you do like it. Um, remember to send us your comments. If there's any water here that you have any questions about, especially the mineral um, content analysis, feel free to send us messages. <coughs> and <coughs> if there's any particular one you know that the pH is very good that we haven't mentioned, please let us know as well. We're always curious. We always want to know. Because, again, you don't know who we might be able to help with this information. So we look forward to seeing you in our next video. And thank you so much for being part of us. Your health is very important. And we want you to take care of it. Thank you.